Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle. Today, I would like to continue with my jigsaw puzzle series or packing puzzle series with these four packing puzzles. This one, I was able to solve in the last episode some weeks ago. It was called Jigsaw 19 puzzle. If you're interested, you can check it out. And also in this video, I explained some more details here of these other three puzzles. And I was asking you in this video, which one you would like to see next. And I think the most of you voted for the Ice 9 puzzle, this one here, which is a level 10 puzzle with only nine pieces. And the other two, the two remaining, this is my question for you today. And again, same as the last time, please let me know in the comments again, which one of these two puzzles you would like to see me doing next. Of course, these puzzles are also available. I put your link in the video description where you can get one yourself if you like what you see. And now let's have a look at the Ice 9 puzzle. Comes in two bags. And nine pieces. Is it complete? I hope so. Three, six, nine pieces. And this is at least I heard this puzzle is gonna be very difficult, even if it has only nine pieces, probably because of the unusual shape. As I mentioned, it's rated with a 10, and the task is to fit all pieces into the rectangle base. It was designed by Ju Izaka, same as the other three puzzles. It is manufactured by Puzzle Master Canada. Entirely made out of plastic, acrylic, to be exact laser cut let's just see if we have some similar pieces here i think all of these pieces have a different shape and this makes it of course very tricky i can imagine because based on these shapes you are not capable to say what piece are connect should be connected to what at least from first point of view i think that's it for today for the introduction there's nothing more to say about this puzzle and after the spoiler break you're gonna see my first attempt solving the ice 9 level 10 puzzle based on the pieces and how they look like and there's not really a shape to discover on how these should be connected this puzzle can be solved of course by brute forcing but this makes it also very difficult if you just solve it on your own and not with the help of any computer some of the pieces fit but i can also imagine that between these pieces will be a lot of small free spaces left also, I have, of course, no idea if there are multiple solutions. So let's first check out how we can connect these pieces. So this seems to be a reasonable connection here because these pieces fit quite good. So I think it should be something like this. Yeah, and I sh what I will focus on now is I will try to consume as much space between the pieces as I can. So I will try to close all the gaps. I have no idea if this is a reasonable approach but i think it's the one that makes most sense this actually looks quite good because i was able to close most of the outer surface here without any gaps which makes from my point of view sense to do so this is not too bad here actually but I think something like this here should not happen because these are too many gaps between the parts what I'm wondering about is what these small chambers here are for so this is not a complete circle here or quarter, quarter of a circle this is somehow chamfered as you can see on the top and so far I was not able to understand what these are made for if there is a sense for this they maybe connect like this for example or if it does not make any sense The more I'm trying this, the more I have the feeling I have to somehow connect these pieces in a way that there is no free play between the parts. I mean, this would be amazing because I would cons 
connect them in this way, for example, this would be a, a suitable solution. Hmm, no, 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 no. Whew, this is really difficult. Okay, so again, let's only focus on how we can connect these pieces to each other without any free play, okay? This piece is difficult to connect as well as this one. These two cause a lot of trouble for me. Maybe I should start with these two and try to place them towards other pieces. Except this one, but I will try to continue anyway. But again, it's not fitting. No, 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 no. Let's focus on joining them without free play. I think that's the only trace I can follow so far. Anything else would be just brute forcing. This piece here causes me a lot of trouble because this piece, as I explained earlier, is impossible to connect in a way that you have no free, um, free play or no space between the parts. I'm 100% sure about this. This means, which is maybe connected in this way, or in this way, or I don't know, maybe in this way, in this way here, that it has some free play between it. Okay, let's start to build, maybe, let's start to build a frame, or the outer frame. This piece, okay, I will leave this piece away because this piece will cause me some trouble for sure. I cannot put it here on the outside without it creating any um, space. If I will leave it away from now. This piece, as well as this one, it's the same again. Two radius and two radius can't be connected with these shapes. So well, now I have two pieces. Makes me think about if these pieces may, may be, might be connected like so, or maybe in an angular way. Nearly one hour, still no idea how to progress here on the Ice 9. Definitely a difficult puzzle. So now I nearly have the frame completely without gaps except here but I think I got it. I got it. Yes, here we go. Oh, this is so sneaky. <laughs> Look at the solution here. Can you believe that? Ah, I can't believe it. I just put in this wrong wrong and I nearly thought it's, it's actually wrong because I couldn't get it in. And I needed to turn it around and now you can see what these pieces are made for. This is sneaky but brilliant 
because you can see that all these surfaces or most of the surfaces with these big radii providing you the shape that you can get in the last piece or like so which is actually the case in the end but i was looking for a shape or for a completely closed frame and this comes actually pretty close so it helped me definitely to get into this final condition here but i would have never imagined that it's looks like this in the end and that's then in the end the solution so this is from my point of view definitely a difficult a very difficult puzzle so from my point of view also the highest difficulty rating of five out of a maximum of five definitely a very hard puzzle and i think i was also here quite lucky to find the solution that quick it could have taken me also much much longer i can also recommend this puzzle definitely to you link in the video description of course if you would like to check it out yourself let me know in the comments which what puzzle you would like to see next if you would like to get some additional information about my channel or puzzling just join me on facebook and instagram and until next time keep on puzzling